This is a new game that we just came up with here at Wasatch Junior High. Um, it's called Battle Tops. So you spin the two tops in there and uh, they go in and they battle in that dish. Kind of a, a simple game, but uh, it shows a lot of uh, really cool materials and techniques to make things. So I'm going to take you through the process of how we came up with it and uh, the way that we uh, make it here. The idea started out on paper with just drawings. We had to look at all the machines that we were going to use and the sizes of the tops and uh, kind of designed everything from there. We made it as big as we could. We took our idea to the, to the art teacher and the art teacher was able to make out of clay this mold that we used to create the first battle top arena. As you can see, clay is probably not the best um, medium to use because the very first one that we made uh, cracked the clay and uh, made it so we could no longer use it. But with that one piece of plastic, we were able to create a new mold out of polyurethane resin just poured it in there and it hardened and created a new one. I'll show you that later. Uh, but this is how we started out with the, the whole concept. Um, as you can see, the, the center is flat instead of rounded. And uh, what happened was after we tried it with the first one, we realized that uh, once the tops dropped in, that they would would not come together and fight. So we had to change the design after this and I'll show you how we did that. Okay, this is the polyurethane one. In order to fix the uh, the problem in the middle, we filled it with Bondo and then sanded it down so it would be the proper shape. After some testing and, and uh, re-sanding, we finally managed to find the shape that works the best. We'll eventually create a whole new one of these that is nothing but uh, polyurethane resin and no bondo. As you can see there's holes in there and those holes allow the vacuum later on the vacuum former needs to be able to pull the plastic down inside of this so they're, they're necessary to have. In order to create the battle top arena we need to take a sheet of plastic like this then heat it up and then we will vacuum form it over the, the mold and we'll come out with with this. Actually it will look more square like this. And you see here we had a student put some chain mail down and a, a tape roll here and that actually can serve as a little staging area to put the tops while they're not doing anything. Um, there's multiple colors available. There's the yellow, the black, and uh, if you want to pay a little extra, you can do clear plastic as well, which is kind of cool. Makes it look like the tops are like floating, so kind of cool. Okay, what we have here is a Nicholas Thermovac machine. Uh, it's really nifty because uh, it's all contained in one nice little suitcase like apparatus. You open it up, you have your plug to plug everything in, and, uh, and you just bring it down, and it is ready for action. Over on the right side we have the oven that heats up the plastic, and on this side we have the vacuum to operate it. Um, you, have the, you have this hinge to move the plastic back and forth, one easy step. And then you have a switch right here to turn on and off the vacuum and the heat. So I'll show you the process of making the battle top arena. Okay, <clears throat> now that's all ready to go. Um, we set up the machine by putting the mold in place. Um, this is almost too big for the machine. I actually had to sand it down so we lost all the detail that uh, was put in there and we plan on putting it back in there with a Dremel later 
but uh, I'd like to make the video now so you're gonna get to see one without any detail on it which is which will work just fine um, it you gotta center it in the machine just right um, then we have the plastic and this frame separates so that you put the plastic in there I'll lift it up so I can slide in there center it in the frame and close it up it locks in place like that there's another one on the other side right here and we flip it over right before we flip it over though I flip the switch which turns on the heating element and if we wait for a little bit you'd actually be able to see the uh, the heating element turn bright red because it gets pretty hot and it's actually starting to get a little orange there so I'll go ahead and plop it over it'll take about a minute or so to uh, heat it up you'll notice that the uh, the plastic will start to warp slightly I'll zoom in on here so you can watch it can't really see it very well on the camera Right there, you can kind of see the the light reflecting on it a little bit different in some spots. That's the the plastic warping slightly, but the camera doesn't really show it as well as you would be able to see it if you were actually here watching it. Um, the plastic is starting to get uh, soft. It's really hot, so you don't really want to touch it that much. Um, you're waiting for it to droop down quite a bit. Don't let it touch the heating element because uh, the plastic will just spontaneously combust. It'll just ignite into flames and it won't be a pretty picture. So I'll get it ready to show it forming. I'll focus more over here. So you can probably tell that it's actually dripping down. That's perfect. So I can bring it over and then hit the vacuum. So you see it just sucks it right around there, no problem. As soon as you turn on the vacuum, it automatically turns off the heating element, so it keeps it safe. Now all I have to do is open up the, uh, the frame there and pull out your finished Battletop Arena, ready for action. All right, this is the uh, second machine that we'll be using. It's an injection mold machine. We have an air-powered piston up at the top. Um, here, down here is an oven. The plastic will go in there, and we have a mold down at the bottom. That's where we'll be making the tops. This particular machine, uh, if you want to get one, I guess that might be where you would get it, crystal alloy injectors. And I'll show you another source later that's the uh, brand name there uh, 1.1 ounces of plastic is all it holds so it's very small but yet they're pretty expensive machines I'll show you the exact price later um, so right here we have a clamp that holds in the mold here's the oven that you want to go up to about anywhere between 300 and 350 and up here we have the oven so that hole is where you put the plastic. If this were a, a real manufacturing place, it would have a hopper that just puts the plastic in for you, but we have to do everything manually. And that's the piston. Here's the pressure. And you want the pressure to be around 38 uh, PSI when we actually plug it in. It's not plugged in right now. So that'll work out just right. 